Hey guys, welcome to the shop this morning. Got this Miata in for some cylinder head work. But in the meantime, we sort of discovered a funny issue that is somewhat common on Miatas and uh, can kind of stress people out, but I want to show the cause of it and hopefully I'll be able to show you the actual sound as well. Um, but it it sounds bad. It, it almost sounds a little bit like a rod knock or something. It It's not quite the right frequency. So, you know, we pretty much immediately ruled out a rod knock, but it's, it's kind of an alarming clunking sound. And um, it's actually what it turned out to be was the timing belt tensioners. So if you've ever had your timing covers off on your Miata, um, these tensioners bolt on here to the water pump and they and then they tension the timing belt as it goes up to the cams um, and then down to the crank there. So they're just little bearings and what happens is as they wear out they develop some play in the bearing. You can hear that. I think they're both that way. Oh, this one's way worse. That's probably the one we were hearing. A new one here in our kit. Nothing. No sound at all. Um, sometimes, too, if you listen really close, you can actually hear the bearing itself. It's a little hard to hear there. You can hear that bearing just kind of sounds like it's worn out. Bloopers. So anyways, between the hissing sound and the clunking sound, uh, that's what's going on. So I'm going to try to show you guys an example of that because I think we have another car here that has, has the same issue. Um, it certainly sounds the same from the outside. Um, so we'll try to get an audio clip of that in just a moment. But the important thing to note here is that it is your car asking you for a timing belt job. Um, but, you know, being non-interference engines, you know, it's if one of these did go bad and you jump timing, you know, the car would stall and, you know, you'd have to get towed to a shop. But it's it's not going to destroy your motor. But it is it is your car, if you want to think of it, politely asking you to do its timing belt. And, and again, when you do a timing belt, you really should do the water pump here, um, the seals, you can see this was leaking, um, you know, the seals behind the crankshaft and the two camshafts, which we've got the head over here. Yeah, so these seals here. So anytime that we do a timing belt here at the shop, you know, we replace all these seals, we replace both of those bearings that we were looking at, the water pump, the crankshaft seal, the valve cover gasket, um, pretty much anything that could possibly wear out or leak um, because usually the timing belt's fine. Um, that's kind of the funniest part. Let's see. <laughs> Still got it here. But this is the timing belt that came off of that car. And I mean, there's no cracks in it. It's not discolored. You know, I don't know the exact history. Uh, it, it may have been replaced at some point, but maybe they didn't do the tensioner, tensioner and the idler pulleys. Um, which is kind of weird because, I mean, at least where we buy them, these Gates kits come with both pulleys and the belt. So I'd, maybe you can, maybe somebody will sell you the belt separately and some people literally just do the belt, but the belt will usually outlive all of the seals, the water pump and both pulleys. So it's important if you're doing the job, the, uh, to make sure to do all of it. So let's see if we can get a sound clip of what I'm talking about here. All right, I'm gonna run out there because I think I hear it happening right now. There it is, that's the sound. All right, well, hopefully you guys could hear that. But yeah, it kind of comes and goes, so. 
can't always catch it. All right, guys, well, I tried to show on that car um, so you can listen to the clip there, but it's very subtle. It is hard to tell. Um, you know, the average owner probably would not notice it at all. Uh, with a stock intake, it'd probably be a little bit easier to hear. And it, it does seem to kind of come and go with temperature. You know, as the bearings get hot or cold, you know, they'll expand or contract a little bit. And, um, you know, that could take up some of that play. So yeah, over the engine running, you know, that's going to be hard to pick up, but you know, for the, for us here, we work on these cars every day. You know, we pretty much immediately when one pulls into the shop, we can pretty much just hear if something is, you know, just a little bit off. So anyways, if you do hear that on your car, that's what it's asking for. And this is what will fix it for you. All right. Thanks for watching guys.